Greetings everybody, Mr. Walberg here, Section 5-2, Perimeter and Area of Similar Figures. Obviously, uh, we spent some time uh, last section doing uh, similar figures. Now we're going to look at uh, the ratio between uh, the two different figures, and eventually this will lead us to being able to figure out sides, um, unknown sides. Uh, obviously, we got two f figures here. They are similar. It says if figures are similar, then the ratio of the perimeters is equal to the ratio of the sides. Uh, that might sound like uh, a lot, but it really actually is pretty easy. If I add uh, the three sides up here, 7 and 6 is 13, plus 10 is is 23. That's the perimeter of this thing. Uh, this one over here, if I add them up, 20, 12, and 14, uh, that's 26 and 20. That would be 46. So I'm looking at a... Uh, ratio of 23 over 46. Uh, if you reduce that, that becomes one half. Uh, this really isn't too bad. Just pay attention here. The ratio of the sides is equal to the ratio of the perimeter. Well, the ratio of the perimeter was 1 to 2. Well, that means the ratio of the sides should be the exact same thing. Pick any one. It doesn't matter. 6 over 12, that gets me one half. 10 over 20, that gets me one half, and of course, seven over fourteen gets me one half. So, the ratio of the perimeters. Well, we did the ratio of the entire perimeter and got a one half of a ratio is equal to the ratio of the sides. While well, the ratio of the sides I just showed you, and each one of them was one half, so they are equal. So let's put that into into action here. Find the ratio of red to blue of the perimeters to the similar figures. Well. They only are giving us one side because that's all you need. You, you don't even need to add up the whole thing. If you just look at the ratio of 4 to this side and 6 to this side, now obviously there's similar rectangles, 4 to 6 is my ratio. So 4 over 6, reduce that down is 2 thirds. So this side to this side is 2 thirds of a ratio. Basically what this is saying is the perimeter of this thing is two-thirds the size of that. Obviously, one whole thing would be identical. It's two-thirds the size of the blue one. Uh, the next thing, uh, very similar uh, perimeter. The difference here is we're talking about area. It says if figures are similar, then the ratio of their areas is equal to the square of the ratio of the sides. Now, this gets a little trickier, but still looking at ratios. Um, again, all we have to do is pick one side. Let's pick the easier one, 8 and the 5. If the figures are similar, then the ratio of the areas is equal to the square. Well, my ratio would be 5 over 8, this 5 over this 8. By the way, you could write it 8 over 5. It would be the same thing in this case because you're talking about the ratio of one side of a rectangle to another side of a rectangle is equal to the square of the ratio of the sides. Well this is what we have to do. We have to square this whole thing to look at the ratio here. Um, easiest thing to do, I'm going to square 5. Remember squaring is multiplying a number by itself twice. I'm going to multiply 5 times 5, that will give me 25. 8 times 8 is 64. So this is my ratio that says that this rectangle is 25 64 the size of this one. All you have to do is square the ratio of two sides. I can show you that it's going to be identical if I do the same thing on this one. 10 over 16. Again, I'm going to square it. I'm going to run out of room here, but if I square 10, 10 times 10, I'm going to get 100. That goes over 16 over 16 is 254. Now, I have to reduce that. By 4 is 25. Sorry, moving up over here. By 4 is 25. And by 4 gets me 64. So the ratio is identical no matter where you pick it. So let's put that into action. I want to know the ratio of the area between the red and the blue triangle. Well, once again, 6 to 10. So I'm going to give it a, a ratio of 6 out of 10. But because I'm looking for the areas, I'm going to square it. 
Simple idea. Square 6. 6 times 6 gets me 36. 10 times 10 gets me 100. However, you can reduce this um, by 2 is 50. And by 2 is 18. I can do it again, actually. By 2 is 9. By 2 is 25. So 9 25 So that says that this triangle is 9 25 the area of that other triangle. Uh, a little tricky doing the areas, but with, with more practice, we'll, we'll be fine. All right, then. Last thing here you guys need to do. Um, these two practice problems, number one and two, just make sure that... Uh, Notice you're being asked to find the perimeters and the areas, so make sure you do both for um, both problems. Have a good night. Bye-bye.